Alright guys, hey this is Steve Harmon here with SynthroTech.com. I wanted to show you guys our first completed version 1 of our 16 step analog sequencer. Uh, we built this for a, um, a musician client and uh, we're going to be shipping it off here right quick. But uh, we wanted to show you what we are making before. We're going to be actually selling these completed units. And the price points can be pretty good comparative to other models out there. Um, a lot of really, really cool features on this and I'm hopefully be able to go through them um, with you. So it's full 16 steps. Um, it has the ability also per step. Uh, obviously you can see an LED that goes per step. Um, in addition to that, uh, there's a three-way switch for every step. And what that three-way switch does for every step, top is on, middle is off, and bottom is hold through. Or basically it takes the um, the voltage that is from the previous step and holds it through so you have longer notes um, that kind of hold through and so anyway it's pretty cool it has some good features there we also have of course we have an adjustable tempo here as you can see the lights are going faster um, so if that's adjustable we have a, um, uh, a a switch or excuse me a, um, a pot that affects the duration of the gate length and so you can make your notes kind of staccato or make them carry out through the whole uh, throughout the whole um, movement between the uh, the steps so anyway, that's pretty cool I'll show you how that works when the gates hooked up it has a CV output it has a gate normal gate output which seems to work pretty well with the modular sense and things like that it's got an S trig out which works good with my Yamaha here and it also works with the Moog uh, synthesizers and it has a reset um, feature. So basically, if this, uh, the reset function on this uh, 16 step can also reset another 16 step. So you guys can have them both kind of in tandem, stopping at the same amount of steps, which is pretty cool. There's also a clock in and a clock out feature. Uh, one of the great features of this of this um, unit that we have built here is the fact that um, it's got a reset on any of the particular steps you want to be on, 1 through 16. The way that that works is there's a switch right here. Down, if it's the down function, you're affecting only steps 1 through 8. If you flip it up, steps 1 through 16 will be engaged. Any, This is an 8-step switch, so on between 1 and 8 will affect the, the, the second bus here. And if you flip it over to the 8, uh, step only it'll affect the first the first the first uh, bus so um hope that makes sense a little convoluted anyway basically what you can do is uh you can have it be a five step sequencer you can have it be a six step you can have it be a 15 step whatever it's 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 got a, a, a lot of uses there um we also have a switch over here for uh five volt output for the cv and nine volt output and so that'll change uh the pitch obviously kind of depending upon what uh, device you're using what it wants it's going to change the pitch on there um, we also have a, a cutoff switch, which allows you to manually tune the frequency of the particular step. Um, that's, a, that's a hard hold step that just switches over, and then we also have one that stops it, a momentary stop switch, so you can just kind of move through it real quickly like that, or you can, you can do a lot of stuff. You can mess around with it with your beat, and it'll still pick up wherever you were with your clock. Um, if you see it over here, this moves through the steps accordingly. Move over to the 16 version, move through that. So I'm going to show you some, also some demos of what it sounds like, and we're going to get going here. So let me turn on my amp, and hopefully the amplifier will recognize that I'm on something, and we'll have to pick up from there as well.